They say, the greatest thing on earth is the knowledge of self. Welcome to Pathology. Let's go. The connection between assessor gods and the 42 underworld deities in ancient Egyptian mythology is a rich and profound exploration of judgment, morality, and cosmic order. The 42 deities, known as the Ma'wat, or the 42 judges of the dead, play a pivotal role in the judgment of souls after death, specifically in the context of the weighing of the heart ceremony, crucially linked to the goddess Ma'at herself. Here, we delve into the mystical and cosmic implications of these concepts. Ma'at, a central figure, Ma'at represents truth, order, and cosmic harmony in ancient Egyptian thought. She is both a goddess and a principle that governed the universe. The concept of Ma'at encapsulates the idea of balance, not just in the physical realm, but also in the moral and spiritual dimensions of existence. In this context, the assessor gods, often depicted as judges in the afterlife, align with the principles of Mayat, emphasizing that every action has consequences that ripple through the universe. The weighing of the heart. At the heart of the judgment process is the ceremony known as the weighing of the heart. This ritual involved the following elements. Osiris, the god of the afterlife and resurrection, Osiris presides over the judgment ceremony. He symbolizes the promise of rebirth and eternal life, making the judgment not just a terminal assessment, but a transformative opportunity. The heart vis, the feather, the deceased's heart, which was thought to contain the essence of their moral acts, was placed on one side of the scales. On the other side lay the feather of Mayat, symbolizing truth and balance. If the heart balanced with the feather, it indicated a life lived in accordance with truth and justice, allowing the individual access to the afterlife. The 42 assessors, before Osiris, 42 deities, often depicted anthropomorphically as human, headed or animal-headed gods, pose questions to the deceased called the negative confessions. The soul must affirm that they did not commit specific sins, with each confession reinforcing the moral fabric of existence. The assessors embody various aspects of the cosmic order, each representing facets of truth and morality. The cosmic order and spiritual accountability, the role of the assessor gods, serves a higher purpose grounded in cosmic order. Reflection of inner truths. The process of judgment acts as a mirror reflecting not only the deeds of the deceased, but also inviting introspection. This sentiment echoes through many spiritual traditions, asserting that our deepest truth must align with our external actions. Thus, the assessors become more than just judges. They are cosmic teachers guiding individuals towards self-realization. Mystical dimensions of the 42 underworld deities. The deities themselves, each associated with different moral principles, present a profound exploration of human nature and celestial law. Some notable examples include Anubis. The god of embalming and the protector of graves, Anubis is closely associated with guarding the dead during their transition. His role illustrates the importance of preparation and reverence for the journey into the afterlife. Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing, Thoth records the outcome of the judgment. His association with communication underscores the significance of truth in maintaining cosmic order, highlighting how thoughts and words contribute to one's moral standing. Horus, often associated with kingship and divine protection, his role in the judgment extends the notion that the assessed individual connects with higher ideals and representations of authority. In this sense, the judgment reflects not only individual morality, but the health of societal structures. Cosmological implications of judgment. The process of judgment by the 42 deities echoes broader metaphysical themes. Interconnectedness of life and death, the dwelling between the material and spiritual realms in this judgment process, signifies that life continues beyond physical death. A cycle of learning and growth, each judgment can be viewed as a lesson that propels the soul towards enlightenment. Resonance with universal laws. 
the process echoes laws found in various mystical traditions, establishing a belief that the universe operates on principles reminiscent of karmic laws where every action generates a corresponding reaction. The cosmic order is maintained through discernment and balance. The journey of the soul and spiritual growth. Beyond the ceremonial aspect lies a deeper spiritual journey. Integrative process. The act of facing each deity and acknowledging one's actions acts as a process of integration. It compels individuals to confront shadow aspects of themselves that must be accepted and transcended for true enlightenment. Rebirth and transformation. The potential for the soul to be judged favorably opens pathways to rebirth. Not merely the continuation of existence, but an opportunity to elevate one's spiritual understanding and align more closely with divine principles. The theme of deny involvement. In the context of ancient spiritual and mystical traditions, particularly related to the judgment processes involving the 42 underworld deities of Egyptian mythology, opens up a profound exploration of accountability, self-awareness, and the psychological dimensions of denial. Denying involvement can take many forms, whether in the context of morale, ethical, or spiritual frameworks. Here, we can examine this topic from various angles, particularly focused on how it intersects with the mystical concepts of assessment, truth, and the implications for spiritual growth. The nature of denial in spiritual contexts. Denial is a psychological defense mechanism where individuals refuse to accept reality or facts, often to shield themselves from uncomfortable truths. In many mystical traditions, embracing one's shadow, those parts of the psyche typically ignored or repressed, is crucial for achieving wholeness. Denying involvement in one's actions, failures, or moral dilemmas can prevent growth and lead to further entanglement in karmic cycles. The Illusion of Separation Many spiritual philosophies suggest that the perception of separation between the self and the universe is an illusion. When individuals deny their involvement in the interconnected web of existence, they reinforce feelings of isolation and disconnection. The teachings of the 42 deities and Maliat emphasize that every action contributes to the cosmic balance, furthering the notion that denying involvement can have wider repercussions. The 42 deities and denial in the context of the weighing of the heart ceremony, the 42 deities question the deceased about various actions, many of which touch on the themes of accountability and integrity. Denial of involvement could come in play in various ways. The Negative Confessions Spiritual accountability is illuminated through the negative confessions where the deceased affirms, I have not to various transgressions. When confronted with such statements, individuals might experience an initial reaction to deny responsibility for their actions. This denial can stem from fear of judgment or the desire to project a better self-image in the face of divine scrutiny. Internal conflict and self-deception. When faced with the assessors, the individual's responses can reveal deeper layers of self-deception. By denying involvement in ethical missteps, people not only risk failing the judgment, but also create an internal conflict with their true nature. This can lead to spiritual stagnation as unresolved inner conflicts suppress growth and learning. The Cosmic Perspective on Denial in many mystic traditions, actions resonate through the cosmos. Denying involvement in a collective moral failing can create discord, not just at an individual level, but for the greater community. Each denial distances individuals from the truth, perpetuating cycles of ignorance that hinder spiritual and moral evolution. Divine Reflection and Accountability the concept of divine reflection suggests that the universe mirrors one's actions back to them. Individuals who deny involvement will find that the echoes of their actions will manifest in unexpected ways in their lives, often leading to situations that force them to confront their reality. In essence, the cosmic order compels individuals to eventually recognize their involvement, catalyzing personal evolution. Embracing the Shadow Psychologically and spiritually, engaging with the shadow self, those aspects that are denied and suppressed can facilitate profound transformation. In many spiritual practices, 
Confronting and embracing these denied aspects leads to a greater understanding of self, fostering authenticity and deeper spiritual enlightenment. The path to redemption. Religious and mystical traditions often present pathways to redemption that begin with acknowledging one's involvement in moral failures. For the ancient Egyptians, acceptance of one's faults and seeking alignment with Ma'ad's truths was essential for a favorable judgment. This approach encourages a move towards acceptance, healing, and ultimately forgiveness, both self-forgiveness and seeking forgiveness from others. Mindfulness and self-reflection. Practices like meditation and mindfulness can help individuals cultivate a greater sense of awareness regarding their actions and the underlying motivations behind denial. Self-reflective practices encourage one to examine thoughts and behaviors, honestly, fostering an openness to confronting uncomfortable truths, engaging in community and dialogue, Engaging with others in discussions about ethics and morality can help illuminate areas of denial or avoidance. Group settings can provide safe spaces to explore these themes, helping individuals recognize the shared nature of human experiences, reducing feelings of isolation stemming from denial. Seeking Guidance In many spiritual traditions, having a mentor or guide can assist individuals in confronting denial. Whether through a spiritual teacher, psychological counselor, or wise community elder, having someone to assist in navigating these complexities can provide valuable insights and support in the journey toward accountability. Divine Patience and Compassion In various mystical narratives, the divine embodies compassion and patience. While there may be consequences for denial, many traditions also offer the promise of redemption. Understanding this duality can encourage individuals to embrace their journey with humility, recognizing that facing one's truths and the possible discomfort involved leads to a richer, more authentic existence. The Call to Authenticity Ultimately, the spiritual journey aims for authenticity. The judgments rendered by the 42 deities while daunting call individuals towards integration and truth, Embracing one's involvement, both in strengths and weaknesses, can illuminate one's path toward harmony with the cosmos and a higher state of consciousness. The struggle with denial, particularly in the context of moral and spiritual involvement, invites profound reflection on the nature of the self, the cosmos, and the divine. The teachings of the ancient Egyptian assessors highlight an essential truth. Acknowledging one's actions, embracing accountability, and engaging in self-reflection are necessary components of the spiritual journey. While denial may initially feel protective, it ultimately obstructs personal growth and enlightenment. By confronting the shadows within and fostering a deep connection to the truths of existence, individuals can navigate the complexities of life more fully, contributing to their spiritual evolution and the harmonious balance of cosmic order. In this way, the process of judgment and assessment offers not just a conclusion, but a continuous pathway towards self-awareness, growth, and divine alignment. Welcome to Pathology. Like, comment, and subscribe.